What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ari and in this one I'm gonna talk about lookalike audiences. Finally the video on lookalikes. So I'm actually gonna make this video relatively brief. Not brief, it's gonna be very detailed but I want to make it quick so that I don't waste any of your time. I want you to go out there and implement some of these tips right away as soon as the video is over. But I'm gonna be covering lookalikes. I'm pretty much gonna show you how you can create them and how you should actually use them, which is the most important thing, of course. Now, I'm gonna hop into my computer here in just a second, but before I do so, I do wanna make sure that you subscribe to the channel and you join the notification squad if you love the content. You guys already know I'm trying to be the most valuable YouTuber out here. We're quickly grinding to the top spot in the YouTube charts. Just kidding. But, you know, we're almost at 10K, which is very, very awesome. But anyways, guys, I'm just going to hop into the computer. I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's go. All right, guys, we're in the computer now, and here are some of the audiences for the Trend Cove ad account. Now, I'm not going to go through each one because, like I said, I mean, as you can see, I've made many um, because I'm at the lookalike stage. Now, here's something that I want to explain very quickly, though. Prior to, I've been having to turn off a lot of my lookalikes because I did have to change the theme of my store as well as the product slightly. Now, this is Trend Cove. I did get a new theme, as you guys can see. It is the turbo theme. I'm being transparent obviously um, and it looks amazing I'm very very happy with the design of the store um, and guys I even made a nice video here for the fishing rod this is just me I know that I got you know I'm trying to use some of my YouTube fame here I'm kidding I'm kidding this is I just show my hands it's a very very simple video uh, but it looks very nice so the store just looks amazing overall uh, which should increase my conversion rates but here's the thing guys I also had to find a new supplier for the fishing rod, so I'm actually having to use like a different one. Uh, and all of these changes that I've had to make have really affected my ads. So as you guys can see today, we've done 788 uh, so far in sales. But let me show you. It's 1030 right now, so I think we could definitely reach 800, maybe even 900 if we get just like a splurge of people, which we should because I am going to make some new ads very soon here after probably I record this video. The ad spend is close to uh, 300, but not quite 300, so that the ROAS is above two. It's doing pretty good, but as I said, we're slowly climbing back up, so it's, very, it's definitely profitable today, um, but we're slowly climbing back up after that big thing that I had that happened which you know I mean we've had so many issues this month with the store my the ad account got turned off twice uh, so all the ads were turned off for a long period of time and then also like I said I changed the theme and I changed a lot of things but still so far this month we've done essentially 30,000 in sales we'll probably reach 35,000 if I had to guess hopefully uh, we'll see though I'm not trying to scale this super fast I'm actually trying to lock in big profits nowadays um, it's kind of the strategy that I'm kind of following a little bit <clears throat> And, and it's working out very, very well. Uh, and it's working out very well. So essentially, what you want to do here is create your lookalikes. And your lookalike audience, you need to have a custom audience first. So how you get to this is obviously you go to your ads manager, uh, and then right here under assets, you go to audiences, and then you click that, and then it takes you to the page that I was on, and it's. And let me show you. Okay. And once you hit that audience button, it's going to take you to your audiences. Like I said, these are the audiences for Trend Cove. I've made a ton of audiences. Don't even worry about them right now. But what you're going to need first is to create a custom audience. Now, I've shown you in a video how you can create a custom audience of, you know, whatever thing has happened in your website. That's what you click. You click website traffic. And then right here, like I said, you can... You can do pr pretty much whatever you want. I mean, um, it's not loading right now, but here we go. So you can do people who added to cart, initiate a checkout, purchase. So obviously, purchase is the best one. I typically, not always, um, but I would recommend you start with page view. So, or, or I mean, uh, I would recommend you start with people who visited the web pages. So then, right here, you type in your link to the product. Okay. And you do pass, um, I would do just 180 days since this is what the lookalike is going to be based off of. So pass 180 days and then just name it, you know, um, website, or I mean, uh, for the fishing rod, for example, I'll do fishing rod visitors and then I'd click create audience. But I have already done that and I've done that for add to carts, initiated checkouts, as well as purchases and views. So you start with views, but right now what I'm actually going to do is create a lookalike based on a purchase um, on a purchase custom audience. So what you do here is once you got those made, you go to lookalike audience, 
and then you click the source so right here is all my sources you know uh, there's a lot of stuff in here don't worry about it let me just find the purchase okay so there it is pocket rod purchase so that's my audience of purchases and usually you want to start with the location of the of the country that you have the most sales from so usually it's going to be the united states but i've already made those so what i want to do with this one is actually i want to do united united kingdom it's something i've been wanting to test recently because it actually sells pretty well with this uh, rod so what i'm going to do is one percent and then i'm going to go all the way to ten percent so a lot of people will tell you to only test one percent um and you know that's fine but i think you know i'll show you in a little bit some proof that even the ten percent work very very well so just wait one second uh stay till the end and you'll see that proof but essentially what you want to do is do that so i'll click create audience um, and there it is. There's the audience. It'll take like 30 minutes to an hour to update, which is pretty pretty common. Um, so you can't use it right away. But and then I'll go again and I'll try to find the same custom audience. So it was okay. So pocket rod purchase United Kingdom, and now we do two percent. And then you'd want to go all the way up until 10 percent. So that's a total of 10 audiences okay so i'll just do these for now i'm surprised this one loaded up so quickly so i'm actually going to show you how you can actually implement that lookalike audience uh, i know i'm going above and beyond today the value is crazy i'm sorry it hasn't been up to par too much recently even though i try my best i've just been extremely busy lately um so many things on my plate and and yeah so now i'm trying to make up for it showing you what you guys requested this was like one of the most requested videos um so anyways uh, here we go. We're gonna go into these ad sets. Um, sorry, I'm not trying to show you all of the ad sets because I have a lot of interest ad sets in here. But I'm just gonna select the few that are doing amazing, or that did amazing today, um, and just kind of compare them for you. Okay, perfect. So I'll filter by selection with those, and there we go. We have the selected. So these are. Um, so these are ad sets that I made last night, actually, um, and as you can see, they are performing very decently. They're doing very good today. All of them have sales, which is awesome. I'm very happy with the results with these. I mean, obviously, they ha there are more, but these are just examples that I wanted to show you of percentagely. And these are all at $5 a day, by the way, um, all at $5 a day. And I know a lot of people don't think $5 a day ads work. I don't know why. Obviously, you're just going to need more $5 a day ad sets, uh, but it 100% works. I mean, honestly, this whole campaign is I'm not I'm going to try to blur this out, but this whole campaign, I mean, it's pretty much all $5 ad sets and even just $3 ad sets. <laughs> uh, so I know it sounds crazy, but it's just a method I've been trying out and it's actually working really well. Let me show you, for example, these two ad sets. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna blur it out the names of the assets because these are interest assets, but these are t both at three dollars a day. Um, and you know, look at that ROAS, six ROAS. That's what you can see with really low budget ad sets. You just need to keep cycling them. It's kind of a complicated long strategy. It's pretty mathematical. I don't want to get too much into it right now, but I do just want to make sure that you know how you can actually implement these lookalikes. So what you're gonna want to do is go to your campaign for your for your product, and you're gonna click. Uh, create of course on the ad set level so we got the we got the campaign so now on the ad set we're gonna click create we're gonna do purchase objective and then we're gonna go right here and then um, you want to clear then right here where it says custom audience this is where you're gonna pick your lookalike audience so for example like I said I just made one for the UK and here it is uh, lookalike GB 2% that's it that's exactly the one that we want. So it's going to be 830,000 people. Perfect. Uh, we'll do all. We'll keep everything, honestly, just pretty broad for now. And then we'll start narrowing it down in the future. Uh, we'll do English, though, just for sure, uh, to, just to make sure. And then we'll do Facebook and Instagram. Perfect. $5 a day. Nice. Um, and... And that's it. So essentially then what you want to do is name it. So I'll name it UK and then I'll name it um, 2% per lookalike, $5, 820K. Um, and I'll also put the 18 plus. Okay, perfect. So there's a properly named ad set right there. And then obviously we'll go down to the bottom here and we'll click continue. Um, and right here, you want to use the same post that you've been using all along. So I want to go to my page post. 
just so that you gather up all the social proof under one post, of course. Um, this is really going to help you build that social proof. So I'm going to go find the video that I used, and it was this one. I'm going to blur out the post IDs because, I don't know, I don't think you can use my post ID, but I'm a little paranoid. <laughs> so right here, when it comes to the bottom of this, I'll enter, I'll click enter post ID after I click use existing post, and I'll paste it. Oh, what? Okay, so I'll copy that. Okay, and then I'll just paste it right here. And there we go. We got the ad set. Perfect. So now we'll click review. Save to draft. All right, and that is it. So now all we got to do is click publish, and it's on. There we go. You just made your first lookalike audience. And this is what I was saying, guys. Don't just do 1%. Do more of them, but just... You know, work with your budget. Try to introduce a new one every single day. Every day, make one new lookalike audience. So tomorrow, make a, a, a 3%. The next day, make the 4%. You could do more if you want. Uh, but, you know, it is kind of better to do it gradually. And, like, what I've been doing is every time I make something, I duplicate it a bunch of times when it's at a low budget. So I'm, what I'm actually going to do is just duplicate this one. Um, and I'm actually going to duplicate it four times. <laughs> so I'm going to... Because I caught a bunch of ad sets and I really want to find the one that's actually going to win out of these. And there we go. And yeah guys, so that's pretty much how you use lookalikes. Now here's the thing. Make sure that you use all of the percentages and make sure that you don't just wait to, to test purchase lookalikes. You can test view content lookalikes, add to cart lookalikes, even 95% video view lookalikes. Those are all going to give you great results all the way from 1% to 10%. So that's a potential... Um, that's a potential like 50 audiences you can make so make sure that you're testing those out cycling those out when you have a winning product and you should be able to scale it out massively so guys make sure you subscribe to the family and make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload a video it would really help me out and i would really appreciate it hopefully you guys see the value in this video make sure that you go apply some of these concepts into your store today as soon as you finish this video don't wait any longer but anyways guys that is all i have for today i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out